Hello one, hello all, Sim Reaper here and welcome back to European Countryside on Farming Simulator 22. Now today we are going to be finally harvesting our soybeans and did not mean to clip my tractor. I actually think I caught the sprayer but we need to grab the header for the harvester and we bring that over here. Like so. And let's grab a big old New Holland. It's a very big piece of machinery. would be nice if I could lift the header up a bit more if it was a little bit taller let's just park that there really don't have a lot of space that problem will be solved once we uh, increase uh, our storage area which we should be doing pretty soon because um, as we as I discussed in the last episode uh, I have a plan and just to recap we're going to get all these fields in this block here put them together we're going to get these three fields put them together these two fields here put them together these four here put them together and then we will also get these side fields here at some point uh, because I can put wheat in those for the chickens. But today we are going to harvest all our soybeans and then we are going to be able to expand this, expand this field into the two fields that we got last episode. So let's get her extended out. Alright. No. <laughs> would help if I turn the header on, wouldn't it? Now, there has been some uh, updates to uh, a few mods. Uh, mainly, the, I think the, the most important one would be precision farming. Uh, they've done a few fi uh, fixes and stuff. Nothing too crazy. Uh, I think they changed the nitrogen levels of grass, uh, if I remember rightly. Uh, they've done a couple of other things as well. But nothing too crazy. Such a piece of machinery. I may change the uh, harvester though sure yeah I mean this one does its job um, but I'm wondering if I can get away with a smaller harvester using this header uh, that's what I'm thinking about because I mean this thing is good and all but it's very large and a smaller harvester might be better for the farm me. I'm not all that fussed about uh, having to empty it more often because it's it's small anyway. You know the areas are quite tight, so that's not really much of an issue. But at the same time, I don't want one that's too small. Although it might be an interesting change. Having a smaller harvester would definitely help on these smaller, tighter fields. It'd take a little longer to harvest, but I'm, I'm not really all that bothered about how long it takes. never really bothered me all that much to be honest I 
Oh, no, I've been missing bits. Those are valuable resources. It's money. But we'll get there. Now this field, of course, doesn't take long. Uh, and then we've got the crazy field there. Now, I am going to flatten all that out at some point. Um, luckily, I have the... I've got to be careful, though, because I have the um, paint, and terraform, uh, paint and Terraform Anywhere mod, which means I can literally just paint and terraform wherever I want, regardless of if I own the land or even if displaceables. It's very useful for fixing uh, bugged out areas where you can't terraform no matter what you do. Uh, I found a few areas on Edgewater. Um, I, had to, I ended up restarting because uh, I accidentally... Well, I, 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 I kind of broke the game and did something to the save. No matter what I did, the save just wouldn't load. I kept getting stuck on like 85%. So I had to delete the save and start again. Which was a little annoying, but nothing too crazy. But, I mean, you know, sometimes these things happen, which really sucks, but you've got to you got to be able to learn to roll with it. Oh, my bad. Right, that's right. So, bottom one is power, and top one is left. I think. Oh, no, I think bottom one is power. Yeah, bottom one is power, top one is left. I, I recently uh, remapped my keys and I'm trying to remember <laughs> what I remapped them to. But we'll get this field done. Uh, then we can empty. And we can move on to the big field. Obviously, we're going to have to put the header back on the trailer because I don't think I can get it through the fence uh, well through the gate which is why having a smaller harvester would be handy I mean, it might just be that we need a smaller header I mean that might be the key but like I said I mean there's no point having a big harvester and a small header because just making life hard for myself. But I'll have a look and see what uh, my options are. But we're getting a good amount of these two fields this time. Soybeans sell really well. I have to constantly fertilize them, which is nice. Oh, there's a tree there. close so I must get myself stuck then. This 3D camera really does uh, well third person camera really does come in handy. I did get some weeds on this field which I didn't notice um, but they're, they're very few and far between so luckily I don't have to worry about it too much. 
I'm gonna try to be more careful. As we reverse to get all this here. almost done. We've got a little bit of fast feedback on the steering wheel now which is nice. I might want to up it a little bit because it's only it only it only shows up when uh, I'm you know I'm really turning hard and going fast. Right, so we want to go back onto here. Uh, we need to go port. Oh, we can empty while we're here actually. Obviously, I'll grab the trailer for the bigger field. Really? Not as long as I thought. There we go. So let's empty soybeans into there, and I'm going to need to reverse this. Like that. So our production is definitely going up. Um, 25,000 wheat, so we've got plenty of wheat. We've got almost eight, just under 8,000 litres of soybeans so far. Still got a bit of oats, but I can keep them because I think I can feed them to the chickens as well if I need to. Um, but I'm going to need more fertiliser. I think I'm out of herbicide, yeah. But it's fine. Alright, let's go get this on the trailer. Ooh. Really hard to get this right. I'll do. Alright, let's get this out here uh, considering that weed filled field is ours I'll just park it on there I don't want to hit uh, I knew that was going to happen see this is the problem with really really tight areas we're going to lose a bit of crop but it's fine I need to get it out somehow. Oh, you pain in the backside. What the? I'm definitely losing some crop, but I got it out at least. Turn around. Yep. Now we want to go hook up to the trailer. 
because I've got a feeling I'm gonna get I'm gonna fill up off this. Yeah, what I might do is I might just clear a bit of space outside that gate. Um, just so I've got somewhere to turn around. Or, you know, I've got a bit of space to turn because, I mean, I don't need a lot of space. Uh, but there's no point planting crop there if I'm going to basically get rid of it every time I drive out with something. Um, right, so let's put this here. All right. Move the uh Oh, took that corner horribly. See, this is why we need a smaller harvester. It's just this thing's a bit too big. Right, let's actually have a look and see what harvesters we've got. So you got the smaller one here with a five meter. Uh, this is the one we have. Um, that's got an 8.5 meter. I could probably get away with using the header for that on that, but it's got it's very small capacity. That one's that bad. With a six meter header, and it's at eight thousand five hundred liters, which is not bad. Uh, we'll just have to see. I mean, it'll take a, a bit of. Like fiddling and stuff, but you've also we've also got this one with thirty five four hundred, and it's got a little four point two meter header. So, I'd love to try that out at some at some point. Uh, it does look like a, a an interesting little combine to use, but it makes sense to use a small combine on this kind of map. So you know what? Yeah, we're gonna do it. So let's send this one back to the store. I know I should technically drive it, but it's just faster doing this. Alrighty then, so we have our new harvester. It is so small. Now it's a very slow vehicle, it's not fast. But it'll be far more suited to the small fields and I don't mind it taking a bit longer to get things done it's not the end of the world the thing about this game is it's not about time I mean if you like speed running or you just want to get it done then I can guess I can understand why you know people want to play fast but I've never really played like that. I like to enjoy my time playing the game, just take my time. But of course you guys don't want to sit here and watch me drive this thing all the way back to the farm. Um, I mean, some of you might do, but it, it depends. I mean, if you'd rather me just play through without cuts, please feel free to say so in the comments you know if enough people prefer that I do pure gameplay then I'll do pure gameplay but I will see you when I get back to the farm all right so we're almost at the field oh what the hell not was not meant to happen what oh, is it not full Oh, I should just start. Oh, cool. So I don't need to fold it and unfold it. Awesome. Oh, let's get harvested. Oh, 
I love the first person view in this uh, little harvester. Now it will fill up pretty quick, uh, so I've got to keep an eye on that. But at least now we've got something that's, you know, small and manoeuvrable enough for the farm. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the New Holland, it's, it's a good harvester. Uh, and it's nice that you start off with it, but in reality you'd have a smaller harvester on such a small farm. Oh dear, I have no idea what just happened there. Yeah, uh, I think today I'm actually going to sit down and try and optimise my settings for farm sim because lately it's gotten very, very framey and jumpy when it, it used to run fine. So, I mean, it could just be the fact that I up updated my graphics card recently. Sometimes that can actually have a negative impact. Um, but, yeah, I'm just going to sit down and I'm going to go through all the graphic settings and basically try and get it to play play uh, I want it, a balance between performance and obviously quality I mean I could probably get this game to run at like 400 frames if I wanted to um, you know but then it wouldn't look as good Although I'm thinking of just uh, reducing my resolution to uh, 1080p, just because that's what I record in anyway. So it, it might be a good idea to just run at 1080p. But it depends on whether it gives me better, better for performance or not. But we shall see. Alright, so time to unload our first load. This trailer might actually be too tall. So we may need a new trailer. Yeah. I think I can just take the extension off that one, I'm not sure. Um, but... Let's head over to uh, we don't, do we have anywhere that I can refit? Uh, oh yeah, it's inside here, isn't it? Unless I think it is. Oh cool. Uh oh no. I thought there was a tool, a tool thingy under there. No worries, I will take it down to the store and I will either modify it or replace it. Oh, one thing I need to do. Um, that. Okay. Oh yeah. We just basically need us a, a lower trailer. Shouldn't be an issue. Alright, so as you can see, I took the extension off. So we should be able to use this just fine. Yeah, it looks about right. Um, oh, actually, I want to park it on the road, this little road technically. You wouldn't park it in the field, I mean. Not if there's a perfectly good road right next to you. I mean, 
it's not much of a road considering it's a dead end but you know right so let's get this emptied now that can hold about 12,000 litres so I can empty this what almost three times so that's not bad but I think it's just it's cute it's, it's that simple I just I just think this thing's so adorable and I just want to use it I've been wanting to use it for ages but there's just not been a viable reason to use it um, but this map with how small and compact everything is it just feels you know more realistic to have this kind of harvester how the hell did I miss these little bits here come on there we go but yeah so this is how it's going to be and we're going to use little red here Alrighty then, so moving in for the second on road, uh, I have Reginald working the harvester. As you can see, looking cool and dandy. I mean, I wouldn't wear bright white pants in that harvester, but that's what he's chosen to wear. But we're getting a nice amount of soybeans. Of course, we're going to have a much bigger field. Well, we're going to end up with three very large fields. So, um, the next ones we're going to buy are these three. Um, and that one's going to be 45, but that one's only 18. So, we'll buy that now. And that one's 15. That leaves us with a little bit of money. Let's go drop this. Well, it's only 7,000, so we should be able to put another load in this. Um, but what I really want to do um, is get that final field, and then I can expand them all, and then we've got one very large soybean field. Um, so, yeah. But what I am going to do is I'm going to extend the f these, this field into these two because we already own these. So we'll extend it out so we've got even more yield. And then, yeah, we just basically got to extend it into these three here to finish this field up. Then we're going to buy these three fields here next. Well, these four because there's four there. We'll put them all together into one field. And then, uh, yeah. So, it, it's basically going to be one big field here. I'm going to have a field here. We're going to have a field up here. And then a field here. And then we'll buy this one here. We'll buy these three small ones down here. So, those are going to be our fields. And then we'll move on. We'll get all these down here into one big field and then we'll get these four and put them into one big field as well so that is the plan going forward because i want to maximize my production um to make money basically and then we can start expanding on the crops that we plan uh, also is there i don't think there's actually um a cow barn already on the map Oh yeah, there is there. Oh no, that's livestock market, right? So there's no actual cow barn. So I'm thinking, at some point by here, by field twenty eight, uh, we might have to clear all this up here, or at least clear a path through, and put a cow barn down here. Uh, and I also want to. Uh, I'll probably put the sheep down there as well. So we'll have cows on one end we'll have sheep on the other and then we'll put um uh, the total mix ration machine down there as well and then we can start with cows but this is this is going to be interesting i also want to spread 
Um, more, I want more beehives down as well. Uh, so we want to put one in these woods here. Maybe put one down here. Put one up here somewhere. Uh, and put one down in this end or down in this end here instead of there. So we we'll spread them out. Put maybe put one up here. Um, because honey is a good source of money. It's free, and it generates itself. So I don't have to do anything. And then obviously as well with the uh, the chickens they're producing eggs for me I just got to make sure to keep them fed uh, and they are pretty fed at the moment so yeah I will see when the harvest is finished and we can uh, go on from there so I decided um, to just get a small loan so that we can buy this last field um, and We've got a bit of money left over so we have a small loan of 75,000 which we will have to pay off but that's not much of an issue uh, because I'll just use the profits I generate to get that paid off as quickly as possible uh, the harvesting is almost done which is nice uh, just go park here because obviously he's going to come down for that last strip all right, so I've removed any trees that needed to be removed. Um, how close is that one? It's a little close, so we'll get rid of that. Harvester is finished. So, uh, one thing I've noticed, we've got corn here. And also, uh, there is corn in this field. Now, how much is this gonna cost? Uh, that's 60, so I'm not gonna be able to get that. But I'm going to have to get a header. Uh, I don't know if I can get a header for corn for this harvester. Yeah, I can. Right, so I'm going to have to go pick that up. Um, I'll pick that up so that we can cut down that corn. But let's go empty the harvester out. I don't know why he's down there. Alright, let's get this emptied. So it's now empty, so we're going to go put it away. And then, yeah, what I'm thinking of doing is these two fields that are actually inside the fence, I'm actually going to turn that into, like, you know, to expand the farm, make the farm a bit bigger. Oh, look at that, that fits perfectly. Um, I really want to put the header somewhere. We can put it at the, at the end over here. Let's put it in front of this little windmill. We'll go park her up. So, little red is now parked. Let's go put our soybeans away. Um, when is it good for soybeans? Is it January? Ba, 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 ba. Um, June. Okay, so we're actually quite a ways off to selling those. Uh, what were the current prices? One, three, yeah, so the prices are quite low right now. So I'd rather not sell them if I can help it. But we got another 9,500 litres, so we've got plenty of soybeans. I'm going to go put them in here. 
area. But yeah, we'll be able to uh, slowly expand the farm. All this space here is going to be utilised for storage and anything else we need. I might actually, well then again, I'd rather not waste uh, space with uh, by using um, by putting down a, a, a sheep pen so yeah th this is all going to be utilized for the farm um, if I can keep uh, that storage the storage tanks over there relatively empty uh, I'm going to move that into that bottom corner there so that'll be the first step well that's going to be it for this episode and if you like what you see please feel free to like and subscribe it will really help the channel and I will catch you again next time